who's manning the camera. <laughs> yes. Hi, my name is <laughs> Sorry, first talk ever. Uh, my name is Tristan, and I've been biking for oh, my whole life, and I don't consider life without a bike. And I made a small presentation of all the things I've went through since I moved to Luxembourg several years ago. And let's go. This works. So I'm originally from, from Strasbourg, and Strasbourg is well known for riding bikes, maybe not as good as Copenhagen or Amsterdam, but still was quite a shock when I moved to Luxembourg. <laughs> and the reason why I got into biking in Strasbourg So in Strasbourg, it was very easy. The city is flat, has a great infrastructure, and there's no barrier to start cycling, like no license whatsoever. It's cheap. You don't have to rely on public transport, and that was it. And the weather is better than here. On average, that's five degrees more. So that can make a big difference, especially in winter. And today, I usually ride between eight and 10,000 kilometers a year, so I can eat as much as I like, which I love eating, so. And I tried all kind of bikes, but my favorite is the trucking bike, because I can go anywhere, even if it's not the best bike for doing anything, I can still do a bit of everything. And what I love about biking is I feel childish and I want to keep this alive in me. And in the morning, if I'm tired, I jump on my bike. That wakes me up the fresh air. And in the evening, after a tough day at work, I just go on and go on my bike. If I want to chill out, I go super slowly. I stop taking pictures. If I'm on my nerves, I will go for a small race or whatever. And yeah, I work in IT, IT infrastructure and information security, so it goes like with quiet and rush uh, periods, so bicycle is like a good uh, counterpart from a work that can be very stressful. And I love being outside and taking pictures. Okay, so then I arrived to Luxembourg and first thing notice the rain. The, ter the terrain was not as flat as in Strasbourg and I thought it was like a good challenge to have. So, and also um, in the city, I realized that uh, I was used to Strasbourg infrastructure where the cycleways, like when you have a crossing and you meet a road, you go under it or around it. And in Luxembourg, I did feel like it was a cycling punishment. You want to cross an intersection, you have to stop, press the button, wait five minutes, maybe three, but it feels like five. Ride for ten years, stop again, press again and wait and go again <laughs> and my first ride to work at that time i had a job in best of i wasn't used to the hills and it was just so painful and over the time it just got easier and easier and so on and six and a half years ago, I changed jobs and I 
started a new job where we had different sites, one in Windhoff, one in Kapanen, and one in town. And I decided to go by bike, so it, my main office was in Kapanen. I live in the city, so I do like, I go the other way. People come to the city in the morning and live in the evening. I leave the city every morning and I see the people coming to the city. And I notice something quite noticeable. A few years ago, when I started that job, in the morning or in the evening, I just met people who were training for a bike race. And now I see people commuting. And when it's a great summer day, I can meet up to 50 people going the other way, which never happened uh, six years ago. And for the weather, actually, there's no such thing as bad weather. Um, I'm quite lucky in the office. I can shower. I have full collection of clothes and backup, and it's not a problem anymore. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go to to that picture. So. Um, <laughs> So, uh, cycling in Luxembourg, when the weather's fine, it's just like super lovely. You have this love, uh, great uh, infrastructure, um, which is outside the city, which reminds me of all the canals in Alsace that I used to ride on. But, <laughs> leaving the city every morning, what happens? You share a cycling infrastructure which is also used by tractors. And you get this on the road sometimes. And then, after the rain, it comes like that. And at the end of the day, you have to wash your bike. And once you arrive in the city, sometimes you have nice surprises. This is the exit of a cycleway. So basically, you're not allowed to leave it. <laughs> you have very well marked uh, cycling roads in the country. But sometimes, they're not reliable. This one, for instance, is closed. But when you're there, you don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, next. <laughs> Uh, sometimes you have a detour of a cycling route, which was a previous picture, like, like deviation sign, which is very pleasant. And then somebody messes up, like blocks the detour of the cycling route. And other places you just get this roadblock, okay, you have to go back, and that's the end of story. Or like walk on the construction site. And sometimes it's just nothing, you just end up on a construction site. <laughs> and of course the weather. So, normal, normal weather. After such a trip, you just go straight to the laundry room, put everything in the washing machine, including your shoes, and then go take a shower. And some Luxembourg adventures, so cycling outside the city as sometimes challenging adventure, feeling like going in the Australian outback for 30 seconds. Also, the challenge is after, after this uh, weather, you get the reward. After the rain comes the dramatic um, landscape. And winter, winter cycling. I don't know, do some of you cycle in winter? <laughs> Excellent. I'm not alone. So the cycleways usually are fine if you have a bike with tight tires. But sometimes you get snow blocks blocking the entry to the cycleway. <laughs> and in winter it's night most of the time when commuting, especially back from work. But still a good reason to stop and enjoy the storms. 
And this something like somebody posted a similar picture on, on Twitter and said uh, the difference of consideration for the road infrastructure versus the cycling infrastructure. So this is the PC one when it's along the motorway in Schassen. <coughs> Uh, this is not like summer, it's a bicycle parking in Strasbourg. So you don't need to get a picture to see how they look in like summer. Proton at this time is probably quite loaded, but usually when I go to the city center, there's one or two bikes around them compared to this. And this is from last year, actually a car which was parked on the mid cycle slash uh, sidewalk and this car stayed here for five days and no one uh, reacted well and how about uh, cycling with our users usually it's fine I have no problem with cars but that's probably my worst adventure on the bike uh, passed by a truck uh, probably 30 centimeters uh, away from me was pretty scary. But other road companions uh, <laughs> are more peaceful. And after a day of work, I just go and enjoy these kind of landscapes. <coughs> but I had some expectations and uh, I hate uh, traffic lights, especially if I turn right. I would not recommend anybody to do it, but I just turned around. And I would expect it to be like legal, because I, for me, like safety comes before a law. And, and also, okay, no one from the commune is here anymore. Um, I noticed that they did uh, bad things in the past, like blocking the cycle way, even the same if the construction works, like somebody blocks the deviation. But there are many things I did not see and they work well, so I did not even notice them. But I remember the things that did not work. But it's not common that I have a problem biking around. Thank you.